गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम पूनम स्वप्निल जाधव वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग ए आई एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुणे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द यूजर एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग प्रोडक्शन इश्यूज मंकी टेस्टिंग एंड एक्सप्लोरेटरी टेस्टिंग अंडर द सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स नाउ यूजर एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग User acceptance testing is also called as customer acceptance testing. After completion of the black box testing and the regression testing, the user acceptance testing is performed. The user acceptance testing consists of a team having the developers and the tester. The SIT environment, the team size is 18 people and the UAT team size is 4 to 5 people the tester cannot work parallelly in both the environments now user acceptance testing has two types alpha testing and beta testing alpha testing is for the service based applications like paytm credit flipkart it involves both the developer and tester if we found any defect issue in alpha testing immediately it need to be fixed or resolved the client involved or the interaction with the client is more in beta testing beta testing is for the product based applications like adobe reader notes katabook both the developer tester are not involved if we found any defect issue then it is getting fixed in the next version or the update the end users are involved in beta testing now production issue when at the production customer found any defect in the product then that is called the hot fix or the production issue the tools used are hplm for tester and developer communication and jira tool for the internal communication in organization if after the uat regression test happen and after the re regression production starts end user is involved in production regression test in engineer deploy the product and after deployment the customer use it when the customer find the defect it is called as the hot fix or the production issue when the customer found the defect then he contact to the customer care then the customer care people can raise a ticket to assign the problem to the technical support when the people cannot solve it then they raise the ticket to transfer it to the product team in which the developer and tester are involved then the business analyst assign it to the team which includes the developer and the tester that team is called as the hot fix team then the developer solve that issue and after the developer solve that issue we start the testing again the developer and tester communicate through the hp ln tool a monkey testing if we have more test cases and have less time that time we perform the monkey testing like suppose we have 1000 test cases and we have only 2 hours in a hand that time we perform monkey testing it is also called as gorilla testing we execute the test cases only with a high priority in the application we perform the functional latency testing here the exploratory testing when we have less knowledge about the application and we have the test data of the application that time we conduct the exploratory testing this testing we are performing step by step and we get the knowledge about the application here we are performing the functional testing i hope you all have understood the user acceptance testing production issues monkey testing and exploratory testing thank you